we do have a laugh. <laughs> Quiz night. Well, I suppose one wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Be fine. Very impressive. You know, you two make a very good team. Oh, why do I get the feeling he's about to suggest a true and Hannah coalition? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Nick. I have to. I'm looking at flights to Saudi. Yes, of course. Zoe. I want you to know that there'll be an email waiting for everyone in the morning. You're right, they all do deserve an explanation. And would I get your office? Comes with a job. And how would you feel about me throwing girly scatter cushions all over the place? As long as you don't mind me burning them the second I get back. Throw in a coffee machine and I'll consider it. Done. Is Curtis on a late shift? Uh, him and Jeff went off on a shout about five minutes ago. Alice! You might be interested in a certain item that's hanging up in my office. You've finished it already? I just need to check the fit, but I'd rather need you in it to do that. What now? No time like the present. What is it with girls and weddings? The merest whiff of a veil and you lose your marbles. Fixie, we'll have you in a white dress yet. No danger. If I haven't met Miss Wright, be wearing a suit. Tess, I meant what I said about Alice's reception, you know. I don't want them to worry about anything. If you have any concerns, will you email me, please? Or I could come up to your office and ask you. Of course you can. The doctor says he's going to be fine. Yeah, it's our theatre now. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I only ever wanted to help him. I know. Oh, and, um, your dad wanted to say he always knew it was you who broke the back window of his transit, and he's not angry. And also, he wanted you to know that it gets easier. <laughs> Don't worry, Alice. It's all right. We can get another dress. It's perfect. <laughs> 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 Rotations. No, they won't. Yeah, they will. You're brilliant. Everyone knows it. Sometimes you're so smart it scares me. I just want to be on my own. No, you don't. Not tonight. Look, you can stay at mine. My nan will cook us some food. I can't promise Khorma Sabzi, but still. I'm really not in the mood to talk to anyone. We don't have to talk to anyone. We could just sit, sit and eat, or just sit, whatever you like. Please, Jay. I really don't think you should be on your own. Why not? Well, I mean, I know how much the rotation meant to you and, uh... And? I just don't want you to do anything stupid. Like what? Oh, I don't believe this. Oh, that's what today was all about. No. Now, someone told you that I'm the girl who tried to top herself and that's why you decided to help me. No. Now, I don't need your pity, Jay. I don't need anyone's pity. Well, I'm sorry, that's too bad because you've got it. What? I feel sorry for you. No one should ever have to feel that alone and I don't want you to ever feel like that again. I just... I just wish you could have told me. I thought we were... You thought we were what? I've watched you sleep. Cow. 
You get out of here. You le leave me alone. Right. Oh, you get out! Get out! Okay. This isn't going to be easy for me to write. But I've realised it would be wrong for me to hide my condition from you any longer. That'll be Herman calling. Right. During World War II, what were the names of the five Normandy beaches? Omaha, Utah, Sword called Juno. Is there nothing you don't know? I'm not too hot on musical theatre post-1982. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think that's another point for Mackenzie. Actually, uh, my mates call me Big Mac. I don't believe in fate any more than I believe you can choose the moment you die. But in a strange way, I believe I'm in a position of privilege. I've come face to face with my own mortality. I've been reminded just how precious and how fragile our little lives really are. I've had to make a choice, and I choose hope. That's why I've decided to have treatment, and why I'm handing over responsibility to Dr. Hannah. As of... Francis, what a lovely surprise. I thought I was coming over to see you at five. I see. It could be six. It's hard to say. Thank you for, for bringing the results over in person, Francis. I, I appreciate how busy you are. Oh, really? That's the least I could do. Right, well, I, uh, I guess I'd better start getting everything in order. I don't exactly have time to waste, do I? I'm... I'm so sorry. Don't be. Michael McIntyre's comedy roadshow reaches Belfast. Watch him and tonight's stand-up talent, including Patrick Guilty, packing the laughs. Next on BBC One. <laughs>